This was one of the scary image I came across in the month of March. This is by Indeed.com and as you can see, there is a sharp decline in the number of job postings for data science. This is what we anticipated as well. But lately to my surprise, I am seeing many of my friends posting on internet about their job change. So what is happening in the industry? On one hand, we are seeing offers being put on hold, layoffs, offers not getting released. On other hand, we are seeing some people are able to change their jobs and get to their next level of career. So what is happening? I thought of doing some research and I am here with my analysis. Welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this video, I will talk about three main things. Number one, how the job market for data science is looking now. Number two, what is there in the future? If we take a window of four months, six months, one year, what is there for us? And number three, as a data scientist or as a data science aspirants, what should be our approach for the future of data science? Towards the end of the video, I'll also talk about some tips for freshers that will help you in approaching the job or internship in a better way. Let's start the discussion. First thing is how the job market for data science is looking like now. Now there is no rocket science to understand that most of the companies which are dependent on footfalls, they are hit badly due to this current situation. For example, shopping complexes, for example, multiplexes, for example, airline industry, for example, tourism industry. These kind of industries are hit badly. On the other hand, there are a set of companies, for example, Zoom, Slack. If you take these companies, right, they are growing like anything. The reason is situation is in their favor. So all those companies which help in remote connectivity, which help in creating a virtual environment for work, which help in virtual setup, all these companies are growing. On one hand, we are seeing layoffs. On other hand, we are seeing hirings. Some of the small players also in the world of analytics, for example, Tiger Analytics. I was seeing an opinion from their CEO about hiring plan for the next four to six months. Some of the big players like Google and Facebook, these guys are also hiring. So the thing to understand here is in some of the industries for some kind of skill set, hiring is still going on. On the other hand, there are layoffs and there are offers being pulled back. This is happening across the industry. Having said that, analytics can be broadly divided into two buckets. Number one is operational and number two is strategic. Let me give you an example. Operational analytics is something that improves the operational efficiency of an organization. For example, if as a data scientist, I solve a supply chain optimization problem, then what I'm doing is I am helping the organization in improving their supply chain operation. On the other hand, take an example of Walmart. Let us say Walmart's digital campaign expenditure is X dollars. Through my analysis as a data scientist, if I can say to Walmart that you take your digital expenditure in advertisement by this much and then your revenue goes up by this much. This is an strategic analytics. So operational analytics can be put on hold when there is cost pressure, revenue pressure. But a strategic analytics cannot be put on hold if there is a cost pressure and revenue pressure. Now lot of organizations are trying to cut their cost. All of them are in cost saving mode. So one important thing to understand here is even if you get hired by some organization, the one thing they will keep in mind is their ROI, return on investment. So if they are paying you X, then they will expect you to deliver the value of that X. So one thing going forward is the return on investment is top priority for all the organization. If they hire a data scientist, then data scientist should be able to perform some task which should help them on the ground. Okay. So that is one of the main findings from my analysis. The next thing is what has changed and how the future is looking like. The very first thing that is changed is any resistance to digital platform is gone forever. Now you would be seeing that many students are attending school lectures through Zoom call or other video calling platforms. This has never happened in the history. Now many, many people are using digital platforms for their businesses, for their education, which means more data. More data means more opportunity to do analytics on their data, 
but only one thing to keep in mind is if somebody hires you they will see a roi because everybody is under cost pressure the next thing is how can we prepare ourselves from for the future right the very first thing to understand here is upskill 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 there is no alternative to upskill many people have lost their jobs many people are looking for jobs there are more competition in the market there is a new term coined in the market virtual hiring which is being used everywhere what is virtual hiring i am an hr i can hire somebody from california i am sitting in india i have an option of hiring somebody from melbourne or california or bangalore which means there is more competition for one job role in that case for you to stay out stay ahead in the competition your profile should look amazing your skills should look different from others so upskilling is the only answer to that you should continuously upskill yourself next is when you approach any hr or any company for the job you should be very specific in how you can help that company for example you worked in a retail industry you solved some huge case this was the benefit from that huge case you have to highlight this thing to the next company in a very specific way telling this is how i help this organization i can help you in this way this has to go as a very strong message so that they see roi in your profile number 3 is your resume you should keep updating with your new skills every time that is another important thing to you know stay updated next thing and i was telling about tips for freshers and all of us it applies to there are many virtual meetups going on so i'll paste link of some of the meetups in description meetups are really really important to create connections to stay in the network of data scientists and to know what is going on in the industry right also there are many virtual internship opportunities this is for freshers you can apply for virtual internship this will also help you in upskilling yourself i'll paste link for virtual internship and virtual meetups both both in the description so this is all about how the market trend is looking how to prepare ourselves and how to anticipate what will happen in the market i hope you like this video if you have any doubts write me in comment i'll come up with another interesting video till then stay safe and take care